we haven't performed as well as we'd liked. Um, we're nowhere near where we should be in the Premier League. So there's so many ups, there's so many downs. Um, the, the scrutiny is there, everyone knows that. The pressure's there. We're, we're the most spoke about club in, in the world uh, to play in these big games. There's pressure to, to be a part of it. You've got to get used to it and you've got to accept it and um, be able to deal with it. If we can take away positives from the season, we've got an amazing cup final to, to, to look forward to. What would that mean to, to pick up silverware this season? Yeah, it means absolutely everything. Playing for this club demands winning trophies, but we've given ourselves an opportunity uh, at the end of a difficult season to, to, to go and make history again. But well, Harry, um, first and foremost, how's the injury? Are you going to be fit? Yeah, um, obviously disappointing, frustrating time to get injured. Um, I still don't know whether I'm going to be fit. It's going to be a, a, a late one. Um, but yeah, hoping to, to, to be fit for the squad um, in the cup final. But yeah, it will be a, a touch and go. I mean, you must be really frustrated because you're a player who wants to play every single week and you've had your injury problems this season. Um, does that get frustrating at times? Yeah, it does. It's probably the first time in my career where um, I've had a, a couple of injuries uh, throughout a season, uh, muscle injuries. So, um, yeah, it is frustrating. It's, it feels different. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like as a player, like you say, you always want to play. You want to play every game. Um, but, yeah, probably maybe something I do need to, to change and look at too in terms of managing myself uh, maybe a little bit better in a, and maybe not pushing myself as, as much, whether it's in the gym or on the training pitch, to, to, to manage my minutes throughout the season. Can you give us an insight, of, we can only dream of it, what, what it's like to play for a club like Manchester United? Yeah, well, first and foremost, it's a, it's a huge honour, um, a massive privilege to play for a, co uh, a club with so, so much history. Um, and like you say, a, a huge club. Um, but yeah, you say, I, I, I love playing for the club. I love wearing the badge. Um, it means so much to me. And yeah, there's, there's so many ups, there's so many downs. Um, the the scrutiny is there. Everyone knows that. The pressure's there. Um, we're, we're the most spoke about club in, in the world, uh, for sure, in this country. Um, and that's the way it is. And to, to be a part of it, you've got to get used to it and you've got to accept it and um, be able to deal with it. And the pressure's there every, well, I suppose for you, every single day, but match days in every single season because everybody expects success from Manchester United. So what's that pressure feel like as an individual player? Yeah, I think you, you've got to, as an individual, you can't look too much into it. I think you've just got to look after yourself throughout the week. Um, you've got to prepare as well as you can. Um, and then you go into the match day feeling confident. So you've got to do your preparation well. You've got to train well, um, prepare well. And that gives you the confidence to, to be able to deal with these pressures. Um, of playing for such a, a huge, iconic club. Um, but of course, to, to play at the top level, uh, to play in these big games, there's pressure um, and, and you've got to be able to deal with it. And um, it's part and parcel of, of being a top footballer. And I suppose the, the future looks bright as well at Manchester United when you look at all the, the younger players who have been given an opportunity this season as well. What, what are the likes of Ganacho and Mainu? What are they like in training? You know, what's their characters like? Are they... Are they a part of the first team squad, if you like, now? Yeah, they are. They're in the, they're, they're in the dressing room, and rightly so. They're, they've earned the place um, this season. Uh, they've been magnificent this season. They've come into a, a situation where we, we haven't performed as well as we'd liked. Um, we're nowhere near where we should be in the Premier League. Um, so they've come into a difficult situation, a difficult season, a diff difficult environment, and handled themselves brilliantly. So if we can take away positives from the season, um, We've got an amazing cup final to, to, to look forward to. Um, but also, we've, we've, the, the young boys have come in and, and, and shown great moments throughout the season. That's given us uh, bright, bright futures. And I suppose you know, moving forwards for the younger players as well, I mean, for their characters, um, it's only going to make them stronger moving forward into the, the coming seasons. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, he's, he's, they've come into a, a really difficult season. Mm. Um, we've obviously had our problems, we've had a ridiculous amount of injuries um, and they've come into it and probably uh, it's not been the, the greatest environment because we've not been winning as many football matches as we should do at this club. So, no, I, it's going to make them stronger, it'll make them better um, and yeah, for sure, they're going to have big futures at, at this club. If, if you could pick one player from, I suppose, training who might surprise a few people, who's got the best stats? in your training sessions? 
I think I'd always go with Scott McTominay. Yeah. Um, it's probably not surprising people, but no, he trains brilliantly. Um, and yeah, he covers big distance and, and works his, his socks off, always in the gym, doing extras. So I go with Scotty. Well, we all know that uh, you've got a cup final, a huge cup final coming up. Um, what would that mean to, to pick up silverware this season? Yeah, it mean absolutely everything. Playing for this club demands winning trophies. Uh, we managed to do it last season. Obviously, we lost in a cup final as well last year. Uh, but we've given ourselves an opportunity uh, at the end of a difficult season to, to, to go in make history again in terms of winning a cup and winning another trophy for this for this club and uh, that's that's what the full focus will be on